Mila and today is Sunday, Sunday the 16th of October. As you can see, we're at the airport in Hainako. Unfortunately, we're still, we're still um, required to wear a mask in here. But we are off to somewhere. We're going to show you later. I'm so excited. This is the two of us because we're going to have a bit of a us time, babe time for a couple of days um, and I can't wait to show you where we're about to go. Yeah? Are you excited? We're actually gaining weight because of the food but heck, it's life. It's more fun in the Philippines maybe. <laughs> Alright, but we're missing the boys. I'm gonna see here in what uh, we'll update you guys soon. Be showing you the safety features of this aircraft. Please watch from the aircraft and ensure that your cell phones are in the In the past, the simple signs are switched off. May we remind you to check areas around you for items when you do For your passengers who need assistance, please the plane has for grabbing your ground staff will be happy to assist you. On behalf of Captain Bohawi, first officer Crespo and the rest of the crew, thank you for flying food in our lights. Passengers, please continue to wear your face mask.
guys, welcome to Marakai. We're at Hen and um, Palm Beach Hotel where we booked our hotel for tonight. So I'm just gonna do, tour you around. Um, as you can see, the first clip is the entrance to the room. On the right hand side is the toilet where you can see Ruel. So it's a glass bathtub with um, the view of our beds. Hi, Nako! And it's really spacious, I like it. Yeah, and there's a toilet. So, and there's a shower. We have a, um, and a really nice shower. They call it a rainfall, isn't it? And then that's our bags, of course. Robes and umbrella, everything. They have a safe here just in case. But we don't have anything to actually save. Hi! Hiya! Just add in the tour that they have some spaces here for your, like your things. Drawers and they have slippers, which is kind of fancy. Like a big one for Rel. It actually fits him. And a small one for me. And yeah, there's also a couple of drawers here as well. And the fridge! Let's see what we have in the fridge. Nothing in the fridge. But we do have some cups and tea, coffee, um, glass, glasses. We've got kettle. What else? Hey. Okay. Yep. Okay. True. Ooh, and this is the bed. We have actually two beds. So we're gonna we're gonna have separate beds for tonight, and they have. A complimentary welcome plate for us that's chocolate oh my gosh I'm I'm quite hungry by the way um, it was a long flight and I'm gonna show you why we picked this room and why I love this room okay now yeah. come all right guys so this is why I pick this. I want this area because look at that. Tan 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 tan. -tan. Sorry, it's night time. Oh, oh my god! Help me. I don't feel like babe. Because it's twist. Oh, I thought it's just it's like okay. So if we come outside, they have a veranda where we can have a bit of a cup of coffee. And with the view of the beach, Baraka Beach, they have a pool actually. It's not windy, babe. I don't think we can go in there. I'm really. Oh, look at this. I love my life. Oh, there's a massage. There's actually a massage downstairs. So, look at this view, guys. I'm gonna vlog again tomorrow morning to show you the difference of the nighttime and the daytime view. But. By itself, it's already breathtaking. I want to just chill here, but we have a beer or something, um, drink for something. But this, this itself is really beautiful. Um, by the way, I'm gonna tell you a side story of everything later on. So that's about it for the tour. Hope you like it. Bye. All right, guys. So. Change of plans, so we are planning to do a barbecue night instead because it's quite windy outside and we can't really enjoy <laughs> walking outside with that. Yeah, I feel like I'll, if we're gonna do the island hopping, I think it's there's also like a seafood lunch. So I'm not sure if I'm keen on going to that seafood buffet instead of doing the lunch. Does that make sense? So yeah. Uh, we're probably gonna do the barbecue night tonight and then just chill at the bar maybe um, have a massage because I'm really dying for one um, dying to have a massage for tonight and because I'm just beat it's been full on like we have activities every day so it's just non-stop so yeah I think yeah that's the plan we're just gonna stay at the hotel grab some food and drinks all right. All right, guys, a little side story. So, um, a quick 
tip on how to come here. So we actually came here. We had a connecting flight from Jensen to Manila, Manila to Katiklan. A um, bit of a delay, but all's well. Um, the flight from Manila to Katiklan is quite quick, so um, we still managed to see a bit of a view, um, as you will see in my reels or my story. So if you don't know my IG um, account, it's Oshila Laugh. Um, if you want to follow, that'd be great. Um, and also, yeah, um, quick tip actually that. A big shout out to my cousin Johanna Boglosa for actually guiding us through it. So um, make sure you do a barcoding um, for the tourist um, QR, code. QR code. Yeah, tourist. What was that tourist application to get? Huh? Yeah. I don't know about barcode. Okay. So. Um, Big shout out to Johanna Boglosa for actually guiding us to get a um, QR code for the tourist, uh, Boracay tourist um, application. So you have to just fill in your details and it's quick and easy. And um, by the time we got here, um, we just showed the barcode and it was good. And also um, for probably, Hannon is a quite pricey hotel, I would say, but I think it's worth it. We did, um, we did book a like a transport um, arrangement with them. It wasn't confirmed, but we're lucky enough that they actually acknowledged and took us in for today. So it's it's quite pricey, but the convenience of us transferring um, again from. Uh, from the airport, we was picked up. We were picked up by a van, and then moved to our um, speedboat, going to um, the island, and then actually getting into another van, and to actually send us to our hotels. So it's quite convenient. I'd rather pay than me stressing about where I'm gonna ride next. We were actually not sure if they can actually accommodate us for today for the transport. But lucky enough, we did. They did. Otherwise, would be would still probably be somewhere actually figuring out how to get into our hotel. Pay okay, for convenience, I believe, and you know, just enjoy your holidays. So we're actually in our hotels. We're gonna um, we're gonna chill tonight, and then we'll see what our activities tomorrow morning. So. Yeah, um, I'll update you guys about our dinner. See. Alright, bye guys. I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs>